Welcome, folks. Today I am going to uncover some of the biggest myths about online security, because believing these might be leaving you more vulnerable than you'd expect. So without wasting time, let's roll. The first and most popular myth among people is that incognito mode makes you anonymous online. The idea that incognito mode makes you anonymous online is one of the biggest myths out there. It's like hiding behind a curtain with your feet sticking out and thinking nobody can see you. Incognito mode is simply a browser feature that won't save your browsing history, like the searches you make or the websites you visit. It will also delete cookies stored by websites once you close the window. So, yes, no one using your device later will see those embarrassing searches. But here's the catch. It's only hiding things from people using your computer. Your internet service provider, ISP, or your network administrator still knows your browsing history. If you're in the office and think incognito mode will keep your searches hidden, you're wrong. Your administrator can see every step you take on your browser. So, while incognito mode is great for keeping your browsing habits private on your device, it doesn't make you anonymous online. For that, You'd need a VPN, or Tor, but even those have their own limitations. Long story short, incognito mode is like a temporary amnesia pill for your browser. It won't remember what you did, but the rest of the world still knows. Antivirus software is enough to keep you safe. Well, this is another misunderstanding. A lot of people think that installing antivirus software is the be-all and end-all of online security. Sure, antivirus is a great start, but it's far from foolproof. And here's why. Antivirus software is mainly designed to detect known threats, malware, viruses, and malicious files that have already been identified by security researchers. But here's the problem. Hackers are constantly evolving their techniques. New, more sophisticated types of malwares, like zero-day exploits, can slip past antivirus programs before the software even knows. Plus, antivirus software doesn't protect you from everything. It won't stop phishing attacks, where hackers trick you into handing over sensitive information like your passwords or credit card details. You can have the best antivirus program in the world, but if you click on a fake link or fall for a social engineering scam, it's game over, so... While antivirus software is an important layer of protection, it's just one part of a bigger security puzzle. You also need to practice safe browsing habits, keep your system and software up to date, and consider using tools like a VPN or multi-factor authentication. Long story short, antivirus is like a guard dog. It's helpful, but it's not the only thing keeping the bad guys out. Another popular myth people still believe is Macs don't get viruses. A lot of people still believe this, but thinking your Mac is immune to viruses is a misconception. Macs do get viruses, just less often than Windows PCs. But less often doesn't mean never. In fact, as Macs have gained popularity, they've become a bigger target for hackers. Malware, spyware, adware, you name it. Macs can get it. There's even a type of malware specifically made for Macs. So the whole virus-free reputation is more myth than fact. In 2017, a strain of malware called Fruitfly was discovered targeting Macs. This sneaky malware could quietly take over your Mac, spy on you through your webcam, and even capture screenshots of your activities. It went undetected for years because it didn't fit the usual profile of viruses seen on other systems. Apple eventually patched the flaw, but it was a reminder that Macs are not immune. The reality is, no system is 100% secure. Hackers can still exploit vulnerabilities in macOS, and if you're not careful, you could end up downloading malicious software without even realizing it. So. While Macs do have solid security features built in, thinking they're invincible is risky. I am too small to be a target. 
This is another myth that many individuals believe in. In reality, hackers love small targets because they're often easier to exploit. Small businesses, freelancers, and everyday users might not have the same security resources or budgets as larger organizations, which makes them attractive to attackers. Large companies usually have dedicated security teams, advanced firewalls, and robust cybersecurity measures in place. But smaller targets are more likely to cut corners, thinking they're not on anyone's radar. This lack of protection makes them low-hanging fruit for hackers. Attackers know that many small businesses or individuals might not keep their software updated, fail to use strong passwords, or neglect to implement multi-factor authentication, MFA. These vulnerabilities create easy entry points for cyber criminals. In many cases, small targets don't have the awareness or the means to recover quickly from a cyber attack. For instance, ransomware attacks on small businesses can be devastating because they often don't have data backups or a cybersecurity plan in place, which forces them to pay the ransom just to get their systems back online. So, the too small to be a target mindset can lead to your crucial data breaches. When smaller targets assume they're safe, they often skip crucial security measures like implementing multi factor authentication, regular backups, and encryption. Hackers know this and take advantage of those oversights. In the end, everyone, no matter the size, is a potential target. Just remember, Online security is like a game of chess. Stay one step ahead, or you'll be checkmated by a hacker.